What is up, everybody? It's Will Versus here today. And we gotta talk about this ridiculous Sony fanboy post right here. So apparently, I guess they're in the modern era now. Apparently, if you get a good deal on a product, you know, the company who's making a said product, who gave you a good, good discount, is just really in desperate times, apparently. So it's just a weird time we're living in. So apparently, because Xbox has allowed Xbox Series S to be $50 off, and you get like a free, I guess you get an additional controller as well. Apparently, Xbox is just desperate, according to the Sony fanboy. But it's not like they're just giving you a good deal. <laughs> That's not it. They can't just give you a good deal. It's because the Xbox is just trash and they're just super desperate to get rid of it. That's like, that's, that has to be the only reason why, according to these fanboys. But apparently, this promotion is a part of Target's um, Black Friday early deal special, or whatever, for that lasts for a week. So if you go to Target right now, I don't know. I guess right, yeah, right now you go to Target. They have the Xbox Series S for 250 bucks, and you get an additional free controller. So this is an amazing deal if you don't have an X next generation system. So I don't know why this guy is really reaching their straws with this post right here, but you know this is a really good deal. Like if you want a cheap next gen console, here you go. It's definitely affordable. He can definitely get into next generation of gaming right here. So you know the average person would think this is just a great deal, but you know the fanboys are like, hey. Xbox is just desperate, just super desperate right now. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. But let's see what people got to say about this nonsense. Or maybe the cost just went low. Yeah, because over time, I mean, it does get cheaper to make the consoles over time. So, you know, that couldn't be a thing. And they not need to take advantage of how the world is now and increase the price of as other people did. Uh... Then this guy says, he doubles down and says, or they aren't selling consoles, and this is what companies do when they aren't overstocked. <laughs> you know, they just aren't selling consoles. And I think this is the most successful Xbox generation ever, which sold the most consoles. This Xbox Series generation sold the most consoles so far to all, all the Xbox generations. But, you know, they just aren't selling consoles, according to this guy right here. It's just not that popular. Shake my head, they can give it away at this point. Yeah, nobody just wants an Xbox Series S. I mean, you can play like at least like most of the games you can play on your PS5, but just nobody wants it. <laughs> just nobody. Then this guy says, it's a fire sale. Everything must go. Oh, man, these fanboys are definitely an interesting lot right here. And this guy says, I'm not surprised. Not even one bit. It ain't even worth the one fifty dollar max. And it's like, really, <laughs> Bruh, How much of a fanboy can you possibly be that it's not worth a hundred and fifty bucks? That is kind of a stretch. When it literally says most of the same library you can play on your PS Five. So, you know, I don't even. What does that say about the PS Five then? It's not worth getting then because it's gonna play the most of the same games, besides like the ten percent of exclusives. Which most of the PlayStation base who have a PS5 or PS4 aren't playing these exclusives. So, you know, you know, the fanboy logic is just a terrible deal right away. Even if 150 is still a terrible deal. Or maybe, just maybe, this is a promotion like any other company does. It, it can't just be a promotion. It has to be something else. Like the company is just going underwater or something. I don't know. Don't tell him that. He'll remember that PS5 models exist and his narrative will crumble. Yeah. You know, just how like the this Xbox Series S has a bundle deal. The PS5 has had bundle deals for the longest, especially with the Rise of Forbidden West thing. Uh, they know that the PS5 is gonna crush them over the next quarter with supply coming in. Yeah, that's definitely the reason why the prices have gone this low. Or maybe it couldn't be because of the Black Friday, early Black Friday deal. <laughs> A little bit of research. I mean, he he even quoted the IGN article where it talks about the Target Black Friday deal. But, you know, you couldn't do two seconds of research with these Sony guys. Just two seconds to look at the actual article. Uh, so, the Series S will be 200 by holiday 2022. So, expect this to be the trend. No one wants the Series S. Just nobody wants it. This is the most dumb. Like, I don't understand the fanboy logic. Just nobody wants the, the the rival platform that you just don't like. Just nobody wants it at that point. Like, jeez. So, so nonsensical at this point. 
Xbox is for the players, while, paste, while PlayStation is for the payers. Okay. And there's even a credit card, a, a, a credit card attachment for your PS5. So you know, whenever Jim Ryan wants those microtransactions, there you go. <laughs> or those uh, 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 remasters that's not extra remaster charge there you go right there right it's attached already to your PS5 um, so this guy says Xbox is quantity fodder and just cheap while the PlayStation is quality award winners and luxury you get what you pay for and there's definitely not any biasness coming from a guy with a Kratos and Atreus avatar definitely not biased there <laughs> uh. so Amazon UK are doing a series I suppose a free copy of FIFA $70 saving I mean I mean if you want to get next gen system you probably should pick these up but you know the fanboys will have you thinking that there's something wrong with giving to getting a discount now uh, apparently there's something so bad you're getting stuff some getting something on sale okay so I just I guess they just pay full price for everything now even though they're notoriously known for game sharing on their platforms for these $7 video games. They do a lot of game sharing, but how dare you Xbox guys get a discount? You know, you can't do that over here. Uh, the usual sad sacks are out today. <laughs> you know, it. they are already in full force trying to say how this is a bad thing and that the Series S is on sale when it's like it's just a good deal. That's it. Um, are you really trying to criticize Xbox for being affordable and in stock? Just sad. <laughs> so I guess he's saying it's not as sad, not as desperate as just opinions. Um, I guess by your logic, Sony bundled Horizon with the PS5 because they were desperate and never wanted the game you want, you clown. <laughs> <laughs> you can apply the same logic there because why did they bundle Horizon Forbidden West with the PS5? I guess they were just desperate too, using the same logic. Um, yeah, it's crazy desperate for being for the gamers. Can you imagine that? Saying that somebody's desperate when they actually give a gamers a good deal? That's just super desperate, apparently. Uh, you are desperate for attention. <laughs> Uh, Sony fanboys, they don't just love their favorite system, they just hate yours, they hate yours as well. Uh, they should just raise the prices. Yeah, for Black Friday, they should just raise the price of everything to make it more premium. Sales are desperate now, lol. Salty much? <laughs> uh, the sale is temporary. Tech goes down in price over time. It's the natural progression of things. Yeah, it's not supposed to be how Sony is doing, where they're increasing the prices of their products, which is very weird. But you know, the sale, the tech usually goes down in price over time. So, you know, sounds like you're desperate for content. Uh, let's see, really weird take to rag on a company for providing consumers with a better deal. Uh, but that's what I expect from fans of a company that price gouges is consumer base. This consumer base, lol. One company raises their price, the other one lowers it. But the one who is consumer friendly is bad. Can someone help me understand this logic, please? I don't get it. I think it's just pure fanboyism because it just makes no sense. It really doesn't make any sense. Um, how long is this? Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna include it right here. It's just the same old. People are just roasting this guy in the comment section. Well, it's like, rightfully so, because who's gonna agree with this nonsense? We're really tripping over Xbox giving its consumers a deal for Black Friday, and if people get access to this this deal early with Target, so really for a week, I guess for a short time period. So I don't know. I don't know. These fanboys say the most ridiculous things on here, but definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this post. Leave a like, click this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.